When it comes to monitoring flow, it's all about the velocity. Coming up next on Tech Review. A long, long time ago, when I got into the liquid flow meter game, it was all about velocity, especially when you were working with portable flow meters on different pipe sizes. This flow calculator went with me everywhere to install test flow meters in water and wastewater treatment plants, chemical plants, pulp and paper plants, up ladders, down manholes, you name it. Wherever there was a liquid flow to be measured, me and my old trusty slide ruler were there. <laughs> so I got a new one. Flow velocity is a unit of measurement on how fast a liquid is passing through a pipe in a given period of time. A typical unit of measurement would be in feet per second, which is the distance in feet traveled in time, or in this case, seconds, and it's abbreviated as FPS. Yep, back in the good old days, FPS was a very common display of flow rate from your flow meter. However, if you needed to come up with a volumetric unit like gallons per minute or GPM, I would use my old, all right, my new slide ruler to convert it. Let's say I have a 10 inch pipe at two feet per second. So I would adjust the slide ruler, let's see here, to 10 inch pipe, and then two feet per second is just under 500 GPM, so it's about 490 GPM. Or I could take a cross-reference chart, and this is a feet per second of GPM cross-reference chart, and I would come down here to a 10-inch pipe and then go over to two feet per second, and there it says 491 gallons per minute. Now, if you want to get more detailed numbers, sharpen your pencils, because it's time for math. This is not a pencil, it's a Sharpie marker. The script says I should have a pencil. Does anyone out there have a pencil? We have a building full of engineers and not a pocket protector with a pencil in it. Why don't we use pencils around here? Because we don't make any mistakes. Mr. Fancy Speaker, why don't you try to ad lib something? Okay, so. Sharpen your Sharpies, it's time for math. Gallons per minute, GPM equals the constant 2.45 times ID squared, which is pipe internal diameter squared, times feet per second. So, what do we know? We know the feet per second was two, and the pipe ID, well we have a 10 inch pipe, but for better accuracies, we should use 10, we should actually put in the correct pipe ID, so I have here a uh, ANSI pipe chart for carbon steel, and we're going to take a look here at uh, a 10 inch pipe, pipe ID, schedule 40 is 10.020. So we have 10.020. There's our equation. So let's clean this up there, 10.020. Uh, squared is 100.40 times 2.45 is 245.98 times two feet per second is 491.96 gallons per minute. Wow. So, with the flow velocity and feet per second and the pipe ID, you could come up with a volumetric flow rate of gallons per minute, or for that matter, any other engineering unit. Needless to say, as time moved forward, flow meter electronics have evolved from the old analog to digital with microprocessors, which enable them to do the math calculations for volumetric flow. So, then who cares about velocity? I do. Yes, today, volumetric flow is the standard, however, if you'd like to size a pipe, size a pump, determine your required straight run of pipe, knowledge of the flow velocity can be of great assistance. 
And since I'm old school, when I get asked the question, can you recommend a flow meter that can monitor 7,000 gallons per minute? Well, that's not a lot of application information to work with, is it? So, the first thing I do, I convert the GPM into feet per second to estimate the pipe size. Yes, the pipe size. So, how can I determine the pipe size just with feet per second? For example, when sizing a pipe, most people size pipes with an average pump flow rate of seven feet per second, with a maximum flow of 10 feet per second. Now that's just a rule of thumb, and it may differ based upon the type of pump and process liquid, etc. but this is the generic footprint that's been used forever. So if your customer makes an inquiry for a water meter to monitor 7,000 gallons per minute, well, the first thing I would do is my new slide ruler flow calculator and line up the 7,000 GPM with seven feet per second. We come up with a 20 inch pipe and most of the time I'm pretty correct. And as you can see, the velocity changes with pipe size. So for example, if we wanted to go look at a 10 inch pipe, a 10 inch pipe right here at two feet per second, two feet per second, one, two feet per second right there equals 500 gallons per minute. And a two inch pipe, two feet per second equals 20 gallons per minute. In addition, most flow meters require a certain amount of straight run of pipe for optimum performance. For example, it's typical to have 10 pipe diameters of straight run after an elbow before you install a flow meter and five pipe diameters before the next obstruction. This is based upon flow rates that are around 10 feet per second. For higher velocities, you may need to have more straight run of pipe, and for lower velocities, less straight run of pipe. So, knowing the velocity of a flow can offer insight to some problematic areas. Again, generically speaking, across all the brands of flow meters, most liquid flow meters tend to monitor flow between a half a foot per second and 20 feet per second. That's not to say some flow meters can't read a little lower and some can't read a little higher, but it is a very typical average window of flow for most flow monitoring devices. So with this basic flow meter knowledge, you can spot some red flags. For example, if you had an application that was one foot per second or less, the first question that I would ask, is this a pumped flow or a gravity flow application? Because if it's an unpressurized gravity flow application, a red flag should go up because it's probably a partially filled pipe, which is important because it would require a different flow meter technology than a full pipe application. Mm -hmm. On the other side of the coin, if the flow rate is in excess of 20 feet per second, it may be over the maximum flow range of your flow meter. And perhaps your pipe size is too small and you may need to have a larger line size to reduce the velocity. So, if you need to convert feet per second to GPM or GPM to feet per second today, you can log into Google and find yourself an online flow calculator or a cross-reference chart. But me, I still like this smelly old slide rule calculator. Mm -hmm. Did you miss me? Will you ever forgive me? Thank you for watching our program. For more information on flow meters, check out the show notes and links that are listed below. You can also visit us on our website at instrumentsdirect.com. And if you enjoyed our program, I would suggest you subscribe to our channel. As always, we would appreciate any suggestions of technology that we should include in our tech review program. This has been Brent Baird for Instruments Direct. See you next time. Hey, get me down from up here. Hey, guys, turn the water off. <laughs>